Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. I think it's far, far lower. If, you, if their melee attack or martial arts is equal to your dodge, uh, I think you have a much lower chance uh, of dodging than starting at 70%. So, how does this mean? So, why is martial arts not good? Well, one, the attack animations are kind of bad in the beginning. Like, we're talking about, like, eh, and eh. So, not, not the best. But the problem is you need high strength, you need high toughness, you need high dex you need high dexterity, because dexterity depend determines how fast you can attack. Um, high martial arts and high dodge to like be competent at doing anything with martial arts. So what this really boils down to is you have like a handful of people who can basically keep the enemies busy while your person you're training to do martial arts is learning how to do martial arts. <laughs> What's funny is, uh, here's the difference between uh, martial arts and a normal weapon. So, okay, this weapon, if I hit somebody with it, I mean, it's going to hit... It'll hit them pretty hard. I think I'd actually have to, like, target somebody to attack to show it. But this will hit for, you know, we'll say you know, 200 damage. Um, and then, you know, stuff gets reduced by, by uh, armor and such. Well, uh, you can stick to a small gang in the, in like to the mid game, but eventually you'll, you'll need to get a bigger group. So in the base game, the largest squad you can have is 20 people. You can push this up to like 50, uh, but the game works. But if you have a really strong process, you can do that. No problem. But the game tends to start having problems. You know, I, I, I'm assuming it starts to have problems if you if you uh, push it too high because there's too many units in the game. But uh, no, you can do amazingly well with just a small group. Like your group becomes just a slaughter machine way faster if you have a small group of like four people. The only problem is it'll be easier for you to get overwhelmed if there's only like four of you. So that that is one of the problems. Uh, the game is super apathetic to you. So like you could run into five enemies, you could run into 50 enemies. And so if you have a small group, a little bit harder. If you have a large group, easier. Um, with using weapons, it doesn't really matter if you're outnumbered because every enemy gets one attack. Basically, it's sort of like D and D. Everyone gets their everyone gets their turn, uh, and so everyone sort of does their thing. You know, they all sort of stand around like Chuck Norris style, like movie fight style. Yeah, you know, everyone taking their turn, and then finally the guy who is getting swung at, he gets his turn and he attacks, um, assuming he isn't staggered when his turn comes up. And um, so that's with weapons, but with like martial arts and dodge, uh, one of the big problems is when you dodge, there are some really long dodge animations. Like there's something that people call the matrix dodge that that might be what it's called in the game's actual files. But the character does like that Neo dodge from the matrix where he like throws his arms back and like dodges a bullet, but he'll do that. And that animation takes a long time. And if you're fighting like like two or three people at once the character might just be what's called what's referred to as dodge locked where they just do nothing but dodge because whenever their turn to attack comes up they're doing a dodge animation so it skips them and goes on to someone else so the game can actually keep going so um all of this is to say don't go with martial arts in the beginning <laughs> if you do you'll have a bad time um you really need to get your hands on some first aid and some sort of splint kit uh, the first aid lets you heal these cut damage causes bleed damage which can cause you to bleed to death 
Um, cut damage also does uh, damage to limbs that will get worse over time. Blunt damage still also does some damage to limbs that some damage to body parts that will get worse over time, but it's less extreme. It doesn't cause nearly as much bleed damage. So um, you'll need some form of first aid to heal your wounds. Uh, if you start the game, go with the Wanderer start. It's the default start. And that will be over here in the hub. You can jog down to Squin, and you'll meet a woman named Ruka. R-U-K-A, I think it is. And um, she will just join you. You just have to talk to her. Yeah, she'll just join you for free instead of this, instead of taking money. Because she wants out. But anyway... Um, expect the first several times you play to just die. This part of the process, and eventually, uh, yeah, eventually you'll you'll learn how to survive. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we can kill nobles. That will definitely make the uh, make the place nicer, I guess. But uh, let's not do that just yet. Because we want to go and, yeah, I think we might raid Tengu's Pride, or Tengu's Vault, whatever it's called. Yeah, I think we're going to do that instead. Now, the, um, oh yeah, by all means. And, and there's more stuff, like, if, if you don't know something, and you, so if you hold shift and you select a job, it will actually put it into this over here, the, the, the jobs list. And the character will do it automatically. So th this doesn't really come into play, but you can set up long, like, job chains for characters to do in your base when, when you get to the point of where you decide to make bases. <laughs> so you can have these complex job chains and, and stuff that... That NPCs, that that your recruits, as they're called in this game, are going to be uh, doing. Right, let's go over to the cactus den, because there's a bunch of like cactus bandits or something out there. But yeah, Kinchi's great. The community is fairly fine. Um, like they're they're bad apples in every group, but the the community is really friendly. Uh, the Reddit is it has tons of people on it. So, by all means, come and join us anytime you want. Hello, Blood Raiders! Deep is the strongest warrior ever. Are you sure about that? Let's attack them. Alright, Blood Raiders, duh. <laughs> oh, Beep. Everyone loves Beep. <laughs> I need to go find Beep's friend, Agnu. I don't think I've ever found him before. Where, okay, where is Agnu? I want to know where Agnu is. Okay, so can she wiki? Oh, by the way, there's a wiki. Agnu. He is where? The Tower of Abuse. What in the nine? It's in the Venge. Okay, Beep. After we raid the Cactus Den, we are going to go to the Tower of Abuse. And get you your bestest, bestest friend. Let's gather. Nobody but Sand Ninjas or Lieb are out here. Lieb or regret it. I'll show you who will regret it, buddy. Ah, there he go. There they go, getting riggedy wrecked by all those skin, that skim skinners. Okay, just in case. Ooh, who's this? San Ninja Chunin. All right, let's quick save, just in case. All right, yeah. See you later. Uh, come back anytime. All right, let's go. Jack up these sand bandits. Who's there? Sand Ninja only, everybody else gets the blade. Leave. Let's fight. 
kill them all. We will take down the sand ninjas. <laughs> I bet their leader might have something nice. All right. Well, let's see. Chunin, Chunin, Jenin, Chunin, Jenin, Jowinin. What does the Jowinin have on him? He has a really crappy ninja blade. Well, 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 well. With Jenin, 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 Jenin. Lots of Jenins. What about this guy? Uh, I guess we cannot select. There we go. He's just a Jenin. Sounds great. I bet they're. Le oh, someone's up. Take him down. What is he? San Ninja Oni. Well then, take him out. Let's bring him outside. We we have a penalty fighting on the inside. All right, take him out. All right, nice. We got him. He has a refitted blade. That's only a genin. Okay, where's the oni? Uh, okay. So that's the chunin. That's the genin. That's the oni. Well, I'll take it. We'll we'll take his blood rum. And he has two ninja blades that we will steal, a basket hat, and a bunch of stuff. All right, we'll steal that. We'll take his food. And where is he wanted? United Cities and the Holy, the Holy Nation. Well, <laughs> I want to hang on to him so I can sell him to the Holy Nations. All right, sounds great. Is there another Oni in there? There might be. Just a tuna. All right, sounds good. What's upstairs? No one. Ooh, here's someone. Andy. There's some other people in here too. Hello, people. I need some fresh recruits. Who are you? Deacon. Well. Wow. I'm gonna pick your lock. Oh, yeah, I need to put this guy down, don't I? Um <clears throat> let's put him in there. And I'm gonna have Miu pick his lock, I guess. All right, they're over there slaughtering everyone. Do it. Mew's getting her training going. Oh, look. He has eight. Alright, never mind, girl. I got this. Take him down. Alright, Mew. Pick him up. Um, we need to first aid him so he doesn't die. Okay, very nice. Ben, you go ahead and come over here. Let's let Deacon out. I'm gonna try. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna try anything unless we can get these chains off me first. Hey, good friendo. Thank you. Hey, good friendo. Still shackled, you half wit. There you go. Freedom. All right, let's free you as well. That's it. Help me out. I'm free. I'm free. All right, and you tell me. All right. Let 
let's unleash this. Freedom! Alright, so let's just see if these guys are going to join us. We might need to move somebody out of out of that group in order to get him to join us. Your mercy. That's his name, right? Yokumichi. Well, Yokumichi, I don't know if you actually are somebody that can join us. So, let's find out. So, Yokumichi. I don't think so. He's just a random person. Sounds good. Let me go check out what's upstairs. I think he's just going to follow us around until it's relatively safe. Okay, we got some nice mercenary club over there. Some dark leather. Okay, nothing too crazy here that I care about. I think all the sand ninjas are dead. <laughs> I think we've killed them all. Oh wait, no. Spoke too soon. But they soon will be dead. Okay, nice. Little chain shirt, I like it. Okay, so what's this? More food, some water. Ooh. Paladin's Cross, not too bad. It's an MK1. Oh, we have an MK1 as well. So these are great against robots. They are not great against humanoids, so... Um, let's trade with Holly. So I can dump all this stuff onto Holly's inventory. Let's just have, um, let's have Hola come back. So Fen, go trade with Hola. We're gonna just, yeah, we'll just dump all this into Hola's inventory. And then we'll come back in and grab that Paladin's Cross. Don't need that. We'll take these, though. Oh, it's out of trading range, huh? That works. So we'll take that, too. It'll sell for a nice amount. Let's grab what's in these. That's not great. We'll take the bread. Because everyone's off just slaughtering everything. Right, let's pick this lock. And what is in there? Ooh, an edge type one ring saber. Not too bad. And over there, it's just some meat. Sounds good. Alright, everyone. <laughs> let's get to it. This is Yokomichi. Putting on gear. He might just join us. If he joins us, it'll probably start a new squad. Get back here, slide. Yep, Yoko Michi, I made it. I'll split here. See ya. See you later, Yoko Michi. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Who are these guys? Manhunters. Alright, well. We found a nice Paladin's Cross there. Once we get the blueprint and some more tech stuff, we can just make better, better uh, blueprints of that. Make better, better versions of it. Yokomichi, where are you going? 
So everything should work out for us. Yes. All right, the Spine Canyon. Sounds good. There are a bunch of those bandits, or whatever they are. Who are you? Blood Raiders. They're not particularly threatening. Don't think baboons can take another beating, you know? I do. Let's fight them. So the Blood Raiders are just the dust bandits of this area, it seems. Alright, sounds nice. The Blood Raiders did not make it very far. Head down to Tengu's vaults. Where we will promptly become enemies with the with the United Cities. They'll be like, screw you guys. Alright, let's quick save. Just in case something goes horribly wrong. Really, we haven't taken a whole lot of damage. Like, me has taken a good hit to the head, but that's about it. Someone will yell at us to stop. Stop right there. Do not approach, Romer. Alright, so these guys are all in the 50s, so that's pretty good. Their leader is probably a little bit higher. But I think I can take them. Sergeant. Let's do this. The alarm has been raised. Mew went down immediately. Seems pretty normal. Some people are going down. Alright. We're doing fine. Our animals are both down. That's probably that guard, Captain. Alright, well, here's the thing. We just got a bunch of good stuff. First off, let's heal everyone. Maybe people will get back up. Sounds good. Let's start looting them, shall we? Alright, well. Ben, I need you to trade with Hola. So I can give Hola all these things. Fantastic. So we can steal this from them, no problem. We also want to take their weapon from them, so they can't really be all that dangerous to us. We'll take their cats. And let's keep doing that to all the rest. Alright, and trade with Hola. Give Hola all these things. Now, all our other characters, we actually want them to have samurai helmets. Now, eventually, we'd just make those. So, there is something there. Right, we're going to take that from you. We're going to take that as well. You can steal from the law? You know it. You better believe it. Hello, you. Give me. Take the weapons. They can't fight us as effectively anymore. Ooh, uh. Alright, Fen, go trade with Fua. Excellent. Oh no! We're gonna give this to Hobbs. We will swap it out. Give that to Holly. Then, once again, trade with um, Holly here. Okay, let's move that and this a little bit. I'm going to put one of those in there. That works. Can we get another one in? Yes. 
Yes, we can. We just don't want them like picking up the the armor effectively. Everyone, get him. Alright, let's take his stuff. Alright, nice. Okay, then trade with Holly now. So, Miyachara, let's swap these. Crumble John, let's swap these as well. Of course, we won't be able to go into the United Cities territory anymore. <laughs> it's okay. And alright, let's keep looting them. Actually, we don't want that. We'll just take his money. Alright. Fantastic. Give that to Dr. Chung. We'll put that on him. And we have a bug helmet. No. Okay, sounds good. Silver shot, eh? Take that. And is that all of them? No, there's one left over here. Alright, give that helmet to Ozumi. Alright, so Green Finger is there. So we've taken almost everything from them. What's going on with Greenfinger? Oh, he's getting up. Duck Chung is unconscious for a little bit longer. All right, fantastic. Oh, there's still one person that doesn't have all their gear stripped yet. Okay, that works. Okay, so we took out those guys. There's probably more of them in here. Uh, many of us are a little worse for wear, but people are probably much better at fighting now than they were. And it looks like there's a patrol here as well. <clears throat> now, if we look at our factions, the United Cities is probably getting pretty pissed off with us. Let's see, yeah, they're starting to get annoyed with us. Let's withdraw, for now. Who has jacked up legs? Um, they do. Can we splint them? Yes. So everyone's getting splinted up. We move faster now. Yes, yes we do. So what we can do now is we can head over to Black Desert City. We can also head to uh, other places. And that can give us the opportunity to um, rest and recuperate a little bit, I guess. Let's see, as long as we are faster than the enemy, we are good. Yeah. Stego. Hello, Stego. So, being able to wear these samurai helmets, that is going to help us greatly. Because even if they're not the best, they're they're better than Tagalmoth. We have these cloud ninjas who want to dance, so let's kill them. 
That's to be those guys. I know. Let's do this. Is it like one of their snow cloud ninja? All right. So down to Black Desert City. Oh no. Yeah, every now and then, so there are gases in this area, and they're a little hard to see at night. So we really want to get some fog masks. Now we can make fog masks in mass, and the hive soldiers they have they have fog masks. Uh, well, they have masks built. In. Uh, we were able to get them hive soldier hiver soldier masks with a mod. So now they aren't pretty much screwed by virtue of not having. Uh, the ability to get gas masks. But, you know, it is what it is. They are much better by virtue of having... It's the freaking Deadlands! We can't come here! It's not a place for humans. Rain feels nice. But the Hivers would think the rain would feel nice. They don't realize it's melting people's skin off. <laughs> but alright, heading over to the scrap house, the scrapper house. I know it's burning bloody acid rain. It truly is the worst. Now, sometimes the game will crash, so we're going to quick save. And we're going to go into the scrap house itself. It does not appear to have crashed. That's good. You old man customer. How long has it been? So much you got. So I have stuff I need to sell you. They're just like, oh, you want to sell me things. Sounds good. I will buy them. We also have the Bugmaster's Lucky Tooth. We'll just hang on to that. That's a trophy. We'll sell all of these things. Money isn't really something we're overly concerned with. We're gonna buy that. We're gonna take that food cube back, though. Food is in food is valuable. Okay. We also have a Edge Type One Saber. That's pretty good. But I like the four and saber more. Refitted blade, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of this grog as well. Sell all of these. Fantastic. All right. So. This is already known. Dust coat, we already know that one as well. What is this? Map of the Ashlands, we'll take it. Exotic weapons, a falling sun. If we want to use heavy weapons, we can use that. Desert sabers. If we want, if we need something that will help us kill spiders, then there we go. Okay, that's everything we would need here. Do you have any more ancient science books? Nope. Okay, so we got everything that we need from here. Humans make me nervous, Quinn. Are they in Black Desert City? Because reasons? Let's see. Come on, it's it's not that bad. They were only human. I mean it's not like we're the ones who caused the fall of the second empire. Like kill him! <laughs> Kill him before he can tell anymore. Alright, there are some people here that we could hire if we so desired. Who's our most jacked up employees? You're kind of jacked up. 
Some people's stomachs are kind of jacked up. So you're jacked up, Donald. Me is kind of jacked up too. He can lay down for a spell. These cost a little bit more than those. <laughs> Infidus, that's not how you're supposed to sleep on beds. <laughs> that is the infinite Win Wang way. Okay, infinite, if you say so. I am healed. Okay, infinite, that's nice. Silver Shade, go ahead and lay down for a bit. Silver Shade. You too. You guys are so silly, you know that, right? Silver's good. All right. Green thingy, go ahead and lay down on the bed. We basically have infinite money, so, I mean, it doesn't matter. He's good. You're working on it. You're working on it, too. But you'll be good soon. Green thingy is all right. So you go ahead and go over there. You jump on there. You're fine. Miyachara. You could use that. So you're good. You're working on it. You're working on it. Go and lay down, Crumble John. The security spider is looking at us. It's giving us a funny look. All right, Crumble. Infinite Wind Wing's good. You're good. Morocco. Go ahead and lay down, my dude. Everyone is fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right. It's time for us to go and attack uh, Tengu's whatchamacallit again. Tengu's vault. Let's go. Zoom, zoom. Probably breathing just constant pollution right now. Alright, let's go. Ow. That damn spider. It burns. Don't you do it. Where's Sangu going? So we're all supposed to run the same speed, you know that, right? Alright, let's kill these dudes. They they want a piece, so we'll give it to them. <clears throat> Ew, fuck! Alright, sounds fantastic. Everyone's only a little hurt by all that. Sounds good. Our animals are the most hurt still. Where's Tengu's vault? Over here. So, ah, that's, that's, ah, that's really the worst. All these poison clouds. <laughs> and they can kill you really fast, too, like, oh no. Let's try going over here, We maybe we can avoid it. Maybe we go over here, we can avoid it. All right, seems fine. Yeah, he he really really wants his dried crisp flags. Okay, and everyone's chests are kind of jacked up right now. A little unfortunate, but it is what it is. We have the most protection there. We have all these dudes over here that we uh, stripped of their gear. They have been reinforced. They have been re-geared. That is unfortunate. But at the same time, very profitable. Now if we had iron plates, we could set up a firing line and then just start blasting them. That is something we could do. 
And what are they doing? They're going to engage that over there. Who's it attacking, though? Right, it's coming after them. That's good. I like it. Now we could slam into their line. Over here. It's largely unprotected. Looks like one of their dudes might be going down. Now nah, he's, he's, he's able to... Who, who are we beating the, skin, the sand skinner? No problem. We have decent level weapons. I'm gonna come back here. We could also use them to get some more helmets. But that's something we can do. Uh, my assumption is the people that we took down are either re-armored, which seems to be the case, or they are uh or they just spawn new armor for themselves, essentially. So yeah, everyone's combat is actually pretty high. It's about even with those guys. They just have a lot of, like, outdoor weapons. Are they gents? Who are you? Hunter. Do not approach, Traveler. Active City's military zone. Leave immediately. We're just going to quick save and attack them once again. Let's do this. What the? Stop! Oh no, they took me down. Beep. Get over here. Attack this guy. There are quite a few of them, aren't they? Okay. Now there are a lot in here, aren't there? Alright, now that we can see inside of the base... Well, sort of see inside of it. Let's have Beep go inside, so I can see what's inside Tengu's vault. There are a lot of dudes in here. We have Adam Amadeus S Esfer. Yeah, we have quite a few people over here. Gabuta of the Sands, as well as M Back. M M M Bakai. It's like screamy. Hmm, what does screamy do? I bet he screams. Alright, and we have Sync Light. Sounds good. So we're just gonna reload. And we'll come back later. So We can go hit up other areas, other things. So let's head down to the obscured structure. That should work fine. That should work fine for us, I think. Now, if we wanted to, uh, what we'll probably do when we come back is we will set up a line of crossbow turrets and then just start blasting. <laughs> and we'll lure them out and, and blast them more. We need to make sure we don't walk into these into these poison clouds until we have fog masks on. But there's this obscured structure out here. That is kind of nice. And a lot of this stuff that you see that is... Like, that, that looks really futuristic. It is... Stuff from the first empire. I think I brought this up before. But the first empire was like the spacefaring, like hyper advanced civilization. They have the second empire, which is everything that seems to be made of scrap metal and like they're like it's 
Not high tech, but it's trying to be high tech. We have this obscured structure here. Wait, is there? A, is this actually a, a thing now? Oh, there's stuff in here. Oh, it's oh okay. There, there are actually enemies here. Well, this is actually what our uh, our weapons are actually made to take out. So let's take them down. Sounds fantastic. Uh, we're down. But that's okay. I think we'll take down the rest of them. We're back in the fight. Very nice. Alright, very nice. Very cool. Um, so that's all new. Let's go see what they have. So they have a falling sun. That's scary. And they have ancient samurai leg plates. Versus samurai like plates, so there are theirs are markedly worse than ours. I think we need like some of those skeleton repair kits, don't we? No, we're we are perfectly fine. But let's uh, let's go take their falling suns from them, just in case they wake back up. Because I'd rather not eat a bunch of falling sun hits if I don't have to. He's using a jute. Okay. So. That's a legion bodyguard. That's a knight elite. Okay, that makes sense. Legion bodyguards. I'm not going to worry too much about the ones who just have jutes. Captain Saruk. The second empire. So he's using mortal bane. Interesting. So it's a topper. Yeah, it's a topper. Just a name to topper. So we can take the uh, research core. And what is this? CPU of Captain Sarek. CPU of Captain Sarek, commander of the great machine, which now sits at the center of the eye. His name was not famous, but the terror he wrought, the terror he wrought from the skies was. At first, its immense light struck down the Empire's enemies in the name of the people. Eventually, the scope of who was considered an enemy loosened, and the great lights scorched more and more of their own cities to the ground. I will keep that. Unfortunately, that is that does tend to be the case who's considered the enemy does tend to does tend to change they are all of the second empire we potentially have a lot of cool stuff to get here too um, alright let's go up one more level see what's up here all right so um let's see beep i'm gonna have you go to the second level i'm gonna start looking around here to see what i can loot so let's go over here pick this lock okay it's just a motor and this is just some of that stuff not too bad, not too great. Okay, that's just some hammers and tools. Now over here, nothing. <clears throat> over here, some locked stuff, some ancient safes. Okay, another AI core, I love it. I need Hola to come over here. Alright, so I'm going to trade with Hola. Give Hola all this stuff. And then let's see what's in here. Oh, nothing too bad. Nothing too important. Okay, another uh, one of those. That's good. And nothing in the strong box. But here. Nothing. 
And nothing down there on level three. So what else is out here? Right, let's go pick this lock. And hold on, just come over here with me. Alright, let's go check out what's in here. Just books. Ooh, engineering research. I'll take it. Okay, nothing over there. Nothing over there. What about over here? Okay, nothing. Just an advanced splinter. I'll take it. A CPU unit. So what does this one say, if anything? Supposedly a piece of brain from a skeleton or maybe an iron spider. It's worth something to a collector. Okay. So no, like, special named things. That's fine. Let's go ahead and head down then. And is there anything down here? Yeah, there's this one. Circuit boards. Ancient safe. Let's go check it out. Okay, just tools. Let's have Paula come over here. I'll let everybody else just keep cleaning those out. While I continue to loot like the dirty rogue I am. Alright, way to uh way to do that then. Alright, cool. Take that. What about this one? Don't need it. Anything else over here? Alright, doesn't look like it. We have cleaned out everything. It's probably time for us to exit stage right. Uh, Miu, you stuck. Come on, Miu. Let's get out of here. So, there was that structure in the eye that, uh, this is new, actually. But we have the eye now. And all this is, is this is this huge space age, uh, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like an orbital laser, like a terraforming laser or something. And uh, they used it to blast their own people. So the civilization that built this is probably still around, just on different planets right now. That is my assumption. Alright, they're all dead. Alright, very nice. Well, we have a lot of... Stuff now. Oh, wait. We should probably learn this, huh? Map of the Ashlands. So we have a handful of extra science books. Let's trade. We can put these all over there. Very nice. And yeah, falling suns against humanoids is are some of the most dangerous weapons in the game. Welcome to the chat room. <laughs> looks like the uh, wife, looks like our internet connection is messing up again. Let's see what we can do about that. Maybe that will help us. Maybe it won't. But who knows? Um, well, guys, what we will do is we will leave the eye behind so that we can uh, at least see where we are. Alright, so we are leaving the eye behind. Nothing too bad. Our internet seems to be messing up a little bit. Not too bad. But yeah, um, so we took out that, the old command sender. We got a bunch of research materials. And uh, I think because our connection is just dying right now, we will uh, we'll cut it off here. So, right, guys, uh, that'll be the stream for tonight. Uh, the internet connection seems to be going crazy, so uh, that'll be the that'll be the stream for tonight. If you're on YouTube, uh, go ahead and comment, like, sub like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. Uh, if you're on Twitch, uh, consider leaving me a follow, a subscribe if you want to. If you have Amazon Prime, keep in mind that you have a free subscription 
built into Amazon Prime. Uh, so if you have a streamer that you like, doesn't matter if it's me or somebody else, just make sure you uh, throw that at somebody. Uh, it really helps out, and you're already paying for it. All right, guys. Thanks for much. Thanks so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, and we are back in business. So let's do this. And that is the clearest the eye has been in ages. And here comes all the ball. <laughs> all right. Well, so we checked out the eye. Evidently, we found lots of people there. And that's good. But uh, we know that there's something over here in Vinge that we might want to find. So most of us are very resistant to burning. Oh yeah, many of us are completely jacked. So, if we head over to Brink, maybe we can find some places over there. Find some people to hang out with. Might be wonderful. Once people uh, get a little healed, that should be a lot that should happen a lot faster. But all right. Let us be off to the Storm Gap Ghost. As long as we aren't running into gut. What is that? Wolves. Survivors who journey through here are hard to come by. People don't tend to come back alive. They find skinless corpses in the pits. Say they're miscool. Say there's miscools that play and eat you. Really now, you don't. Say really, come on now, introduct. I know a guy who knew a guy who knew this woman, whose second uncle saw one while selling cactus rum outside of Crab Town. I bet. Not real. I think Jew's uncle would disagree. Not real. They're real. I saw one. I saw one once. They told me to go eat more green fruits, then turned into a purple bone dog and melted into. Wait. Yeah, I remember. It was a dream. Just stop talking. It was the best dream I've ever had. Jeez, what is going on with their internet connection? It's like the entire thing is just like completely jacked up for some reason. Maybe we can get it going again. Alright, come on, internet. Okay, don't then. Let's try. Oh, well, now it's crashing. <laughs> well, I uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, so supposedly the stream is going to keep working now. I don't know if it will. All right, let's keep going. Okay, well, supposedly it's continuing to work. All right, but all right, we are at the Venge, right on the border. Hopefully, everything continues to work without a hitch. But you never know these things. We're going to head back to Brink, though. We'll go to Hinge later. When we are ready to slaughter all of our enemy. It'll be fantastic. Don't worry about it. It'll be great. Hold it, civilian. Gonna need to check those bags before we can enter the city, Romer. Oh, we might have problems. Why don't we save you some time? Okay, now go. Can't these guys turn hostile because we were using like a lot of their helmets? Yeah, we have like a 4% disguise. So they could turn hostile to us. Try to attack us. Ugh, more stickmen to lower the tone of our great city. You got a problem, Lady Boogie? We're going to sort you out. We'll take care of you, no problem. Alright, so what is this? A weapon shop? Well, we can't buy any weapons. We don't need any food. And, um... Let's see. Yeah, there's no reason to come here, aside from, like, maybe the bar so we can work. 